the Public Works Integrated Waste Division provides a wide variety of material collection services to the community. These services include automated residential container collection, bin service for commercial businesses and multifamily residents, bulky item pickup, e-waste and metals collection, and bin rental services. But waste management doesn't stop at the curb. We need our customers' help to reduce and recycle our waste stream to improve our community's sustainability by separating materials properly. Our customers can help by taking a little time to properly separate waste goods before disposing of them. The recycling containers used for plastic bottles and containers, aluminum, tin, and metal cans, beverage cartons, empty and clean glass bottles and jars, all types of clean paper, including post-its, paperback books, frozen food boxes, flattened cardboard, and scrap metal. The green container is specifically for green waste or yard trimmings such as shrubbery pruning, brush, leaves, grass clippings, and small tree trimming and limbs that are less than six inches in diameter and cut to fit within the container. Avoid disposing of dirt, rocks, bricks, palm fronds, construction lumber, or other debris in the green waste containers. Any other items that are not recyclable can be placed in the trash container. Household hazardous waste such as paint, motor oil, or batteries must be kept out of the trash and can be disposed of at the city's environmental management center. Electronics and larger items like furniture can be disposed through the city's bulky item collection service. For businesses and our multifamily customers, we provide similar service for trash and separated recyclables through our alley, curbside, and interior garage bin collection programs. So, now that the materials have been sorted and placed in proper bins and containers, our drivers come by and pick up each container in separate passes to take the material to their appropriate destinations. The contents of the trash container are compacted down within the truck itself to maximize the load and increase the efficiency of each truck. This load is brought to the Shoal Canyon landfill where it is weighed on a large truck scale in order to determine the weight of the load. A single trash truck load can weigh up to 11 tons. The city contracts with the Los Angeles County Sanitation District to operate our landfill, and each truck load is weighed because the county is compensated for every ton of trash that gets delivered. Diverting recyclables and green waste from the landfill is not only environmentally smart, it saves our customers money in the long run. Once documented, the load is moved to the fill site, where it is offloaded for landfill staff to move, place, and ultimately cover the material with dirt on a daily basis. Back at the curbside, let's take a look at where our recycling container's content goes. Recyclables are taken to Glendale's Recycling Center, a fully permitted materials recovery facility which accepts commodities from individual residents who bring recyclables directly to the facility's buyback center and from the loads of materials brought in by our city trucks. First, our trucks arrive at the center and the materials are weighed in. Recycling loads are generally lighter and do not compact as much as trash and green waste loads. A full recycling load is typically around four to five tons. Once they're weighed, our trucks then move to the center's tipping floor where the materials are dumped, compiled, and moved into a complex sorting line. Commodities are then hand sorted and diverted to separate piles for each type of material. The separated piles are then baled and briefly stored on site until they can be loaded onto trucks and transported to various destinations where they are reused by manufacturers and other products. Our green waste container has a similar destination as our trash container, but it is used for a different purpose. Green waste loads are brought to the show landfill where they are weighed. A typical full, compacted green waste load is around 7 to 8 tons. Landfill operators must cover all disposed waste at the end of each day to control odors, vectors, fires, litter, and scavenging. Landfills use a minimum of six inches of earthen materials as daily cover. Although subject to change in the near future, green waste is currently used as alternative daily cover in addition to the use of dirt. Most of Glendale's green waste is used for this purpose, while another portion of the city's green waste stream is chipped and recycled for use as mulch, which is made available to the public at various park locations around the city. For those customers that take advantage of the city's free bulky item pickup program, large items such as couches, mattresses, and television sets should be scheduled for pickup by contacting the Integrated Waste Management Office. 
Items are placed out at the curb for pickup on the day of their normal collection service. Items such as television sets are taken to the Glendale Recycling Center where they are compiled with other similar e-waste goods and taken to various companies who handle such materials. Bulky items such as couches, tables, and cabinetry are crushed and packed in rear loader trucks and hauled to another vendor outside the city who disassembles and recycles various materials from these loads. The Public Works Integrated Waste Management Division strives to provide exceptional service to our customers through responsive, efficient operations and seeks to maximize our community's diversion of materials away from the landfill as we work together with our citizens towards a zero waste future.